Then yeah, uh, just a couple of points. I don't quite feel that you responded to all of my points, but that's your choice, of course. And I imagine you got a lot of responses, so I did want to point out you you did talk about that it was suggested that it be selfish to pursue immortality. I just wanted to point out that the only way I see it as being truly selfish as a purely negative thing, selfishness can lead to you know good changes, but the problem here is immortality means less room for future generations. If we do not die we don't leave the space for future generations and sooner or later barring some kind of hard to imagine space colonization or something we will stop you know there will not be any more future generations and that I think is quite selfish that is essentially stating indirectly that you're as good as it's gonna get you're the best generation nothing better or good is going to come out of future generations I also thought that the undercurrent of fear I can understand being afraid of death I'm not claiming that I'm not afraid of death but when did fear become a thing that we always have to when is the source of our fear? When did that become just something that we have to remove? Fear is a motivator, and I'm not saying that we should be, that everything we're afraid of should go untouched. Obviously, when it's a dictator or something like that, we should deal with it, but the fear of death, for one thing, it makes you want to make the most out of life, and just, I'm sorry, but are you looking to eradicate all op all sources of fear entirely this is such a romanticized ideal I do not understand so many people seem to think that all hardship should be eliminated hardship builds character and it helps define life do you want a life where we just sit around and do absolutely nothing because there are no problems to take care of we are an species. The whole drive of our existence is to take care of things. Have you ever heard of older people dying off once their spouse have, has died or when they've been confined to a rest home or such? When we stop moving, we stop caring, we stop... That is... You know, when old people want to die, it's usually because they feel they can't do anything anymore or there's no one to do it for. They've lost their loved ones. Removing hardship doesn't make sense. I get that it's, you know, of course a result of the drive. You know, we think that we, you know, we seek to remove all hardships so, you know, we think that we can somehow take care of all of it. Even if we did, it would not be a good thing. And finally, I just want to say, I hope this doesn't come off as disrespectful, but I'm sorry, you're lying about why don't we just kill ourselves right now? I'd look into getting that fear treated. I really don't think that's a very healthy way to look at, yeah.